Hey everyone, today I'm going to cover one of the really easy features of DaVinci Resolve. It has the ability to import Photoshop files and look at the different layers, but we can also do this with Affinity Photo. Uh, since Affinity has the ability to export PSD files, it makes it really easy to use at a little bit lower price. It's a one-time fee, and so we can use those files easily with DaVinci Resolve. And by the way, Affinity Photo, Affinity Designer are super powerful. They do a lot of things okay so let's jump right into it i have a basic composition here in affinity photo and all it is is a background with an ellipse so we just start there and it has a second layer with just some text with an outline it's black text with a red outline there so i'm going to go ahead and add one more layer just to show you everything this can do and this one i'm going to put some textures on here so let's go ahead and go to the paintbrush and i'm just going to grab this pattern right here Okay, so I have a, let's double check. I got a black color here. That looks good. And so I'm just going to add some of these elements kind of along the edge here just to kind of frame this text. Pretty simple. I just want to show you how we can add multiple layers here and I want to do more than two. So this is my composition. And if I go in here to file and I can hit export, you can also hit control alt shift S. And so we want to select PSD. We have all these options, but we want to do a Photoshop export. Under these options, what we want to do is we can use the preserve editability or preserve accuracy. I'm going to go ahead and use the editability and I want to export the whole document, not just the area. The size of this comp is 1920 by 1080. So I just have it set up for HD and I don't want to hide any layers here. And I'm just resampling through bilinear progression there. So let's go ahead and hit export and I'll grab my location here and just give it a name and hit save. So we'll go ahead now and open up DaVinci Resolve. And so there's a couple of ways to manipulate these PSDs. So what we want to do, let's go ahead and grab the file that we just pulled up here. And I'm going to go ahead and grab that and put it on the media pool right now. Okay, you can see the PSD file shows up. We get the preview in the media pool and we can drag that onto the timeline. I'm in the edit page and if you're not there, just hit shift and four to get there. And you can see just by dragging and dropping that, we get that image. It's the full composition and we really can't do any other manipulation of it, but that's the easy way to import it. I'm gonna show you a little bit more detail here on how to get to those layers. Let's go ahead and delete that. All right, this time I'm gonna grab a fusion composition and I'll go ahead and go to the fusion tab as well. Okay, there's a couple of ways to deal with this. So I still have my affinity to resolve PSD up here. I can grab it and drag and drop it and then go ahead and connect it. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to affinity photo. And you can see when I exported that, I was on this middle layer, it's called pixel here. And that was really just my outline there that I placed in there with those hatches. Whatever that active layer is, is what DaVinci is gonna pick as what it shows up if you use this method. So obviously that's not what I wanna see. Go ahead and delete that node out. If you go up here to the fusion menu option up here, we can go to import, and then there's PSD right here. So we can go ahead and select our file there. And what it's going to do is create a nice kind of a node tree here. And we can rename these layers. These are the three layers that I had in there. And so going back to my hierarchy, you can see background. Uh, it, it starts from basically the bottom. It puts it on the top. So background, this is my hatch. And then this is my text right here. So let's go ahead and rename that text text so I can keep track of it. And let's take a look in the windows up here. And there's that hatch and there's the background. And it, it just creates these merges automatically for you. And if you place this out, then you have the final composition there going to your media out, which is really great. All right, so one more example I want to show you here in Affinity Photo. I have a composition here and it's got four layers in it. Let me turn these off here. So I have a room image in the background here. And then I have a barrel shelf here in the front right, another back right shelf and a left shelf here in the back. So it just gives me four different layers to composite into this overall image. All right, so I'll go ahead and export this out now. And I want to do preserve editability. And I've got these settings the way I want it. 
I'll export it out as room comp 3. Now I'll jump over here to DaVinci Resolve. I'm going to go ahead and just add a fusion composition so I can get to those layers. Go to the fusion tab. All right, in the fusion page here, I'm going to go ahead and import in my PSD file under the fusion menu at the top. Import PSD and I will grab that room comp 3. Here's my node tree that Resolve conveniently set up for us. These are the layers here. I have the background, the barrel shelf, right shelf, and left shelf. And as you can see, it truncated the space in between the, the file names here. If we go back to Affinity, you can see I had a space there. So the way that nodes work in Resolve is it can't really use a space in the file name. You can go ahead and change that as you create these layers. Just kind of a tip there, or you can let it create its own layers. It'll just truncate it and kind of rename those layers. So just keep that in mind. These are the merge nodes here. So we look at this final merge here in the upper right pane. You can see our overall composition. And this is just one of the layers here. This is that back left shelf. If you want to turn that layer off, you got two options here. We can just break that connection here and it goes away. I'll go ahead and reconnect it. The other way to do that, you got to pay attention to the overall composition. It's not going to go away here because that is what is in that node. If I right click on this node under modes, I can do pass through or I can hit control P and it just kind of blacks out that node. It'll get rid of that layer as well. I'll turn that back on by pressing control P again. And now we've got our shelf back. So the other thing you'll see up here in the inspector is we do have a layer option here. Uh, if you select each node, so this is the left shelf. You can see the layers left shelf. It keeps the proper naming convention of the PSD file. You can hear, see here it has the space, which is great. And I can select any of these other layers here. So I can go ahead and do another barrel shelf here. And so I really have two of those now. So if I wanted to move that one around, let me go ahead and hit shift space and I'll hit transform. Add a transform node here. And you can see I have two different layers with that same layer now. So let me go back and I'll switch this back to the back left shelf. And now that I've moved it over, I need to bring it back in place. You can see we can move any of these nodes around, any of these layers around using transforms. Okay, we can also add other nodes to this. So say we wanna add an effect to this layer, this left back shelf. I'm gonna go ahead and right click in the flow area here. And I'm gonna add an ignite glow here. This is a different node. If you don't have the Ignite package, you won't see this in your package, but I'm just using this as an example so you can take a look and see what you can do with these layers. I have my Ignite Glow setting here. Let's go ahead and turn up the intensity a little bit and I'll bring down the threshold. Actually, I'll bring that intensity down a bit. And so we can just make that kind of glow into the composition here. You can see this is the original node here because it starts here. That's what I'm viewing. And now as it passes through this Ignite Glow, this is the effect that I'm getting. So we can add colors and effects to each of the layers individually by using this node tree that's set up for us in Resolve using those PSD files, which is really great. DaVinci Resolve gives you a lot of different options to work with those Photoshop standard files, the PSD files. I think that's very helpful to do different things with composition, and particularly if you have a pretty detailed design file and you want to import that in, but you don't want to go back into your design file and export each layer out separately. You can manipulate everything right within DaVinci Resolve, which saves you a lot of time. Yeah, so hopefully this was somewhat helpful for you guys. If you have any questions or comments or features you'd like to see Blackmagic add working with PSD files or other things, add them in the comments and we'll have a discussion on it. But thanks a lot for watching today. Take care, everybody.